Hello and welcome to Audio Tesla. This is Henry Harass. Our topic today is the bipolar Tesla coil. There are two types of bipolar Tesla coils. The first category consists of two vertical placed quarter wave resonators spaced equally at some distance from each other, such as these built by Greg Lay. To produce a 180 degree voltage phase shift at the high voltage terminals, one might reverse the primary winding of one of the coils. The second category is the half wave resonator. Half wave resonator Tesla coils are generally mounted in a horizontal position with a high voltage terminal mounted at each end, like the one shown in this photo of Jeff Mullen's miniature spark gap driven Tesla coil built in 1981. Here is a photograph of a small solid state driven Tesla coil built in Black Canyon City, Arizona. Advancements in solid state construction allows music to be played by these types of coils. Auditioned in Black Canyon City is a much larger solid state coil. This coil currently holds the Guinness World's Record as the most powerful bipolar Tesla coil in the world. A truly amazing Tesla coil. Today, Audio Tesla is proud to announce the next generation bipolar Tesla coil. Audio Tesla's Hellcat. Physically two and one half times bigger than the current Guinness World Record holder, Hellcat is hands down the biggest, baddest, most powerful musical bipolar Tesla coil in the world. Period. And here to describe Hellcat is Jeff Mullins. Good. Here we have the secondary of the Hellcat Tesla coil. It is 21 inches outside diameter and approximately 6 feet in length. It's wrapped with 2 and 1 quarter miles of 20 gauge wire, magnet wire. The primary is approximately 40 inches ID and it's approximately 90 microhenries in inductance. The torus is on the end or approximately 3 feet across by six inches in diameter. There's an additional torus that is 21 inches in diameter by four inches in thickness. It is used, these two are used to control the voltage, high voltage that exists on the ends of the Tesla coil as they go up and also collect on the 12 by three toruses at the top, right up there. That is necessary in order to control the voltage as it goes up and out to keep it from arcing back either to the ground or to anything near any nearby object. The base of this Tesla coil is supported by a micarta, very, very strong material, and Lexan. The two of these are necessary in order to support the weight of this Tesla coil. It's hundreds of pounds. This secondary if it were by itself and tested, it would resonate at approximately 36 kilohertz by itself, just this center piece right here. When these pieces are added to the end and the extensions up in the air there, the frequency drops to approximately 25 kilohertz, which is approximately a 40% reduction in frequency. There's one thing that I failed to represent a while ago. I want all of you to be able to see this. If you can look closely with the camera, you can clearly see that there's metal flake right next to the wire embedded in the varnish. Just wanted to call that to your attention. The Tesla coil's interior, the driving part of this entire Tesla coil, is underneath. This unit right here is called the inverter. And off to its side is the huge capacitor bank, approximately 0.5 microfarads of capacitance, necessary to resonate with this approximately 90 microhenries of inductance in the primary. We have a smaller version, the little brother of the big audio Tesla Hellcat. This little guy right here is approximately the same. It's, it's just a scale, it's a scaled down version of the large Tesla coil you see over here, which is the audio Tesla Hellcat. This unit, this secondary right here, is free floating, just like the secondary on the Hellcat. 
they both have similar amounts of capacitance relative to their size. And these points on the end here, these toruses, which are 12 by 3, 12 inches, diam or 12 inches diameter by 3 inches across, are used to control the voltage so that it doesn't arc over to components or to things nearby. And then that voltage is sent up to these points here and is arced over and if there's no interaction with the primary or the secondary. I'd like to thank you for watching this video of the large Tesla coil and his smaller brother in operation. An original video was taken, a cell phone video of all things, showing these two Tesla coils playing music for the first time, both of them.